So this morning I woke up to a short think piece that appeared in my personal Facebook feeds and I read it and the link is in the low bar. The piece asked if Beyonce was indulging in cultural appropriation of Indian culture or more specifically Hinduism since she was dressed in a very decorative sari and sported a bindi. Beyonce was featured in Coldplay's music video to their new single, Him for the Weekend. Now, this question of cultural appropriation comes up as a bit of a stickier subject because Beyonce is a woman of color, an African-American woman. We all know that historically, black people have pointed out instances of cultural appropriation. Weighing in as an African-American myself, I do think that Beyonce is indulging in cultural appropriation because she is not Hindu. She is not of that culture or religion. Now, if she converted, I would say, okay. Then again, I would ask, why not a Bollywood singer and dancer who also is Indian to do that part in the video? See, many people of color and their white allies have taken to social media to discuss this issue of late. And the reactions from the new right in social media clap back with nonsense like this. So that leaves me with a question to ask you guys. What about the kids who are different skin color? Does someone with darker skin, are they still not allowed to dress certain costumes because it is culturally insensitive? Because somehow reflecting wearing that costume from a culture that you may like and love, doesn't matter the color of your skin, are they not allowed to wear that either because they're not from that culture? Yes, Repsion, it is inappropriate when you costume yourself and other people's image, especially during Halloween when you know that a bunch of corporations that make these costumes are really cartoonish stereotypes. The reactionary's response to this issue is just about them covering up their own justification of their racism and wanting to continue to embrace it. But enough of this fuckboy and anyone who thinks like him. Because they don't get to steer the narrative of what is cultural appropriation and what is not. Let us allow human decency and common sense dictate what is appropriate. Let's start with what cultural appropriation isn't, while at the same time sharing other people's cultures and show appreciation of it. We know jazz greats like Dizzy Gillespie and John Coltrane have incorporated certain sounds coming from North Africa into their music. They have done this without taking some creative credit, as if they made the music of that region while saying, hey, I made this music. See, that's what was done to blues and early rock and roll by some white artists. Note that I said some. For instance, Elvis came out of nowhere thinking and pretending as if he was the inventor of rock and roll and therefore he was crowned the king of it. Meanwhile, Jerry Lee Lewis had always credited where he learned blues and therefore learning rock and roll or what would later on become rock and roll. There's a difference. If you give credit to a culture or country as to your artistic expression, then it's fine. One of my favorite rock albums is The Porcupine by Echo and the Bunnymen. While it was, the most part, a rock album, they collaborated with artists who played the instruments of traditional music, mainly coming out of India and mixing in with stuff that came out of North Africa and the Middle East. And it was incorporated into Echo's music. It made it totally different altogether, and that's what was so great about it. You can say the same for innovative hip-hop artists who will incorporate Bhangra into their songs, but they are not trying to lift whole songs without giving proper credit. When chefs might fuse one culture with another, it is not appropriation, but being innovative. And while we are on the subject, being non-Chinese and going to your local Chinatown to eat the food there is not appropriation, nor is going there to shop for groceries because you want to make your own stir fry is also not appropriation. Yeah, I actually saw another one of social media's new right 
One of the social injustice intermediaries actually tried to propose that liking another culture's food while being not of that culture is what we progressives were trying to say is cultural appropriation. Now, what is cultural appropriation? When you grow dreadlocks and you are not Rastafarian, yes, this even goes to African Americans. While you might be black and you can grow dreads, unless you have embraced or converted to Rastafarianism, you are appropriating a look and a hairstyle, nothing more. White dreads. Do you know what Naya Bingi is? No? Then you are an appropriator. When you wear the traditional Chinese jackets and you are not practicing Kung Fu and you are not a martial artist, you are wearing it to be cool or because it's Halloween. That's appropriation and that is a problem. Now, if you are exact, if now if you are dressed exactly the way Bruce Lee wore his, from Enter the Dragon, then okay. And if it was a Halloween outfit, I might be okay with that. But it had better be obvious. When our 16-year-old was like seven, she went as a Bollywood star for Halloween. Now, we wanted to make sure this was not some cartoonish representation and that she was not wearing somebody's culture as a prop. So we made sure she looked as, I don't know, as glamorous as an actress would. And that she was not saying, hey, I'm an Indian person. So when people asked, you know, she was a Bollywood star. She was an African-American Bollywood star, to be more precise. And don't get me started on how Native Americans have been made into being costumes. I've seen white folks and black people, too, make complete fools of themselves in videos of real powwows on people's reservations by walking up in there doing dance moves clearly from movies and cartoons and shit and dressed in cartoon jewelry. Appropriation. But if they say take if they say are taken in by a community and truly living as one of those people and educated by them well depending on if those people truly adopt them then i'll say it's okay i guess finally ignore all videos and unthink pieces by the likes of mr repsion or any other of these fuckboys of social media's new right their point of view has always been their world view And as history shows, when it comes to the Western civilization, their worldview has been part of our education, and it's time for that to end. It's time for them to be made obsolete. They have no validity in being the arbiters of cultural appropriation, as long as they embrace white supremacy. This is the Garage Autonomist.